everybody and welcome to this week's episode of The Mandala Effect. This is part three of our three-part series with the wonderful Master Dev Om and we have an incredible episode lined up for you today. We are going to be delving deep into the matrix um, and I could not think of a more perfect person to have this discussion with. This has been basically the entirety of my last two weeks. It has taken up every thought, every moment, every question I have had um, of my training here in Goa over the last couple of weeks. So we're going to start with, well, thank you for joining me again. Um, and we're going to start with the first question, which most people may have is what is the matrix? Ah, so matrix is uh, is the way you perceive the world. So it is not the physical thing, but it is what you feel out of that physical thing. It is not the activity, but what you feel out of that activity. It is not the uh, it is not the relationship, but what you feel out of that relationship. So basically, how you perceive whatever is happening in your life, that perception is matrix. And do you by by this definition, uh, you can realize that how deep and how refined it is mm -hmm. that it is it is in you. Mm -hmm. Why? Because it makes you feel what you feel without you knowing and you feel that you are feeling it but no it makes you feel what you feel because you perceive it like that amazing deep deep <laughs> it's deep so, so you know when when you start thinking about the reality that you live in here we go um and we it's quite often we see on social media and maybe on YouTube when people are into self-development, personal development, spirituality um, and their spiritual growth that we understand that our thoughts create our reality. So would you say that this is the basis of what forms the matrix? Yes. So great. Uh, your thoughts create your reality. Yeah. But what creates your thought? <laughs> that's the matrix <laughs> that's the matrix right so you think that you create your thoughts no but you were trained to create those thoughts in a certain manner and that's where matrix comes in uh -huh. because you are trained to perceive them in certain manner you know you train to uh, think about success in a certain manner or uh, achievements in a certain manner or ego in a certain manner or whatever 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 it is and those those perceptions which actually bind you with the attachments attachments of your results of the deeds of of the effect of it and you think that yeah if if you are not going to be successful it is going to affect you negatively while well, you don't even question that what i think of what success is is it really success or what i think that can be a good thing for me would it really be good for me or what i think is gonna be great give me great joy will it really gonna give me great joy we perceive we give our life to that we run after that and we get attached to the results and we get impacted by the results and the and the outcome and feel up and down keep moving like a ping pong ball and all that creates matrix so your thought create your reality in the matrix world because how you are thinking or what is creating your thought is actually impacted by something which is not from your own realization, but from the outer training, conditioning, culture, education, rat race, effect. Rat race, yeah. <laughs> which and that is matrix. Now. Amazing. So can somebody change the matrix that they live in? Yes. You can change your reality by knowing your reality. It's not about changing the shape of your reality because probably that's not even reality. That's not even your reality, what you feel. But you know your reality, that will change everything. Mm -hmm. To know your reality, you need to know yourself. You need to know about what are you beyond what you feel. All right, if I say, who am I? Oh, I can get a name. Oh, I am this. Who the hell is this? Oh, I am a boy. Who is this boy beyond this boy, before this boy? Oh, yeah, I am a human or maybe I am from this nationality or this culture or I'm from that family, you know. Oh, I am this son of that. Who is this? Who is all these things? These are just the 
uh, outer ornaments of something which is deep inside now outer ornaments are not defining you but the thing is that the normal eyes look at the person based on his ornaments or his what he is wearing or how he is looking so that mindset which tries to know a person by what he is wearing or what is his outer ornaments is actually trapped in the matrix because it is it just want to see the project itself what do you want to see of yourself the project itself that i am this i am son of this i belong to this religion this country this 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 is how i supposed to be this is how i supposed to behave this is how i supposed to live and this is for feelings i have need to live do you want to see yourself in all this projected self manner or do you do you want to find something really real what you are which is beyond this projected layers of you mm-hmm. right and which is something which is always there and which is actually not affected by these projected layers there is something inside you there is something which is always absolutely free and not impacted and bound by these projected layers and that is need to be discovered inside you and when you discover that when you realize that that realization change your reality and brings you out of the matrix while living in this body yeah so how does somebody come to realize that how do how does somebody realize that they are something more because it's all right hearing it and knowing it intellectually but then experiencing it is very different we call in india jin khoja tin paiya the one who seeks get gets it so you need to be a seeker for that mm-hmm. so first of all do you really want to seek that <laughs> because what happens that living unconsciously is comfortable mm-hmm. living in rat race is comfortable living just like a herd is very comfortable you know you are just fit fitted in the entire scenario mm-hmm. you don't need to create your own road you don't need to make the effort so it's comfortable mm-hmm. that is why many people just adopt it because it is comfortable yeah you know waking up is uncomfortable mm-hmm. for those who don't want to wake up but it is damn comfortable for those who want to wake up so as first first question needs to ask to yourself is that do you really want to wake up do you really want to see the reality mm-hmm. or do you want to live just a comfortable life the way it is going because it's easy it is comfortable nobody is going to question you in that because you are like everybody mm-hmm. and everybody is like you and it reflects you know yeah okay in the herd everything is everybody is same right but you need to get out of the herd you cannot be a sheep will if you become a sheep uh, a seeker mm-hmm. so a seeker is no more a sheep people or a sheep will it becomes individual mm-hmm. it becomes a seeker it becomes a a seeker on the path of seeking yeah. something which is about the pure consciousness mm-hmm. something which is about knowing beyond the project itself mm-hmm. something which is uh, trying to know uh beyond what you have been knowing so far you know what others have been telling you yes. and those others are very dear to you you know they yes. can be your family they can be your friend they can be your society culture nation education everything mm-hmm. but beyond all this everybody in this entire world actually inside is free of it but if you don't know that freedom you will not live it because the dilemma is that you can only live that thing which you know yeah. if you don't know it you will not live it and you will just be living what you are knowing mm-hmm. and you will be feeling that whatever you know that is the only life you have yeah right and that life is very much projected because that life is made belief that life is like training your mind that this is how actually you supposed to live and when we keep living that life we also can keep getting affected by the results of it yep, outcome yep, of it yep. and we keep living in a matrix because whatever we try how so much ever we try we still don't feel that final fulfillment mm. the final completion feeling because matrix does not give that no. matrix gives you half thing mm-hmm. you know that yeah you are not complete 
and that is why you remain trapped in the matrix in the cycle of matter yeah. the moment you reach to a space where you feel completely fulfilled you get out of matrix yes okay so then based on that what is the problem with remaining in the matrix what happens if you decide not to wake up and to remain in the matrix you remain comfortable and you remain comfortably crying mm -hmm. comfortably uncomfortable addicted to your addicted suffering. to your suffering i don't mind if you live amazingly joyful happy full satisfactory life and remain in matrix because then matrix is not affecting you yeah matrix affect you in your crying it gives you reason for crying it gives reason to remain uncomfortable it gives you reason to feel complex such insecurity fear it gives you reasons to remain uprooted not to remain connected with yourself not to remain grounded so whenever you are doing that you are actually affected by the matrix and if you are able to just be grounded be centered be with yourself and feel the master that you are a master of your life mm. and you are not affected by these outcomes of everyday life mm -hmm. then matrix is not matrix is not affecting you then you are already out of it yeah right so met, coming out of matrix works on a different levels but uh, people who don't want to do that mm -hmm. can remain comfortable in their uncomfortable life but if they want to uh become go grow over grow out of their uncomfortableness and want to live a real comfortable life where nothing can shake them yeah if they become unshakably rooted and established within their own consciousness then it is important to understand the matrix the maya the trap of it and how it overtakes your life and how you remain aware of it and remain out of it because it will keep activating or triggering something or the other inside you mm -hmm. and if you want to remain happy and comfortable with those triggers mm -hmm. blaming others because that's also part of the matrix that ah whenever something wrong happens to you you blame somebody else or some situation or some person and you remain sleeping mm -hmm. wake up because you will gonna have that another situation in a much stronger manner mm -hmm. because life wants you to learn yeah if you will not learn if you don't um, if you don't agree to wake up if you don't agree to realize that where are you in this entire scenario mm -hmm. are you just being a puppet of the other things and expectation or the way matrix treated you or you are no longer a puppet or you want to remain uh treat treat yourself as a conscious being conscious soul or pure consciousness which is free mm -hmm. really then you need to wake up yeah you need to be a seeker and if you say ah i don't need really need to need a need really i don't really feel a need to be free great <laughs> great be happy <laughs> be happy with your suffering <laughs> yeah what to say no sometimes people feel that that's the way of life you yeah. know um they feel that um there is no end of suffering so they become comfortable with suffering like yeah. you know okay truth mm. that okay i'll i'll uh, okay even if i'm get say, getting some suffering but uh, yeah that's okay that's how it is and i keep going with that that's not the question that how well you train yourself to handle the suffering mm. it is about that there is something called soul inside you and if you don't feel it mm. you always live the half life but if you do feel it you cannot feel restful in suffering there's a very beautiful story about buddha that when he took birth he walked four step as an infant and he said four things which are called four noble truth the first truth he said that life is suffering second step he said there is a reason for the suffering third step he said there is a solution to that reason and then fourth step he said that there is a life beyond that reason so he did not talk about suffering in the third and fourth you understand yeah. life is suffering there is a reason for that suffering but he realized that the reason 
and there is a solution to that reason mm -hmm. so that it does not you know keep creating the suffering yeah. and then there is a life beyond those reasons so you become such bigger yeah. that these things cannot trap you yeah right and that is what his first realization the moment you took birth and that's called the four noble truth yeah so if you understand them or if you feel some resonance with them then the journey is for you but if you don't don't bother about it <laughs> don't <laughs> so bother don't even bother because you <laughs> click on something it's, else <laughs> no it's it, it's not in a sarcastic manner but really probably you want to do this journey this way it's okay because it has to be your individual choice your freedom also cannot be imposed on you right then it's not freedom your freedom is a freedom only when you love it mm -hmm. but if a freedom is also imposed on you it's not a freedom so so you you need to find your resonance in your seeking and if it resonates for you to you or today or not maybe today but maybe some other day some tomorrow because everybody in their life reach to a situation where it ask some basic existential questions about mm, themselves yes so maybe you need to wait till that time yeah or if you know that it is already there you get those existential questions and you already think about this maybe then this is the time you need to wake up this is a wake up call for you that realize the um, the nature of the matrix and maybe seek guidance maybe yeah. work for your transformation whatever it may yeah. yeah yeah so let's use an example let's say somebody keeps on experiencing a particular situation in their life maybe in different ways and they and they're questioning why does this keep on happening to me why do i keep experiencing X in my life. Why does why do people keep dumping me? Why do I keep having money problems? Why do I keep having health problems? Da, 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 da. Um, and uh, and they're starting to question why is this happening? What there has to be more to life. There has to be more than this pain that I feel or that I'm experiencing. What would you recommend if they're starting to question, asking these ex existential questions? Yeah. Wonderful. So basically, first of all, know that you are not that who is experiencing all that. This is this is something to be realized. I am just telling you, and you are understanding it. Probably you can relate with it, but you need to realize it. But know that you are not the one who is experiencing that. It is say this person, and this person is living in this world has to go through this suffering because the nature of the life is this suffering and that is what Buddha said in the first noble truth that life is suffering. But what is not suffering even if life is suffering is something which is beyond this, which is beyond the matter, which is beyond the suffering. That is your pure consciousness which is unshakable, right, which is not impacted by all this suffering. But who then suffers inside you is your idea of this person. Who has this idea of this suffering that, yeah, I have this suffering. Okay, you have less money. Is it suffering for everybody? Mm -hmm. For few people, they can live happy in the less money also. For few people, they cannot live happy with, the, with so much of money. Life is not about earning so much money so that you can buy the best bed to sleep. What good the best bed would be if you don't have any sleep, <laughs> right? Life is about having the best sleep every night. And that's where the matrix traps you. It tells you, gives you the idea that you have to work hard to buy the best bed in order to get the best sleep. And what you lose in the effort of buying the best bed is you already lose your sleep. Yeah. So when you lose your sleep, what the bed will do? But when you have a sleep, every place is the best bed for you, mm -hmm. right? So, this is how matrix works. The thing is, when you start to question this, first of all, know that you are not that who suffers. Something inside you still is unshakable of that. Mm -hmm. And that is why mm -hmm. that you, that pure part of you, bring you back or give you courage to move forward or bring you from one state to another. In India, we call it Turiya Vastha, the, the Turiya inside you, the, the fourth state, which bring you from one state to another state, you know, from wake up to deep sleep to dreaming. The dreaming world is the Maya world, the matrix world. 
well, I cannot give you lot many information like this, but know that that is not you. It is your idea of this person which goes through the suffering and that suffering is also an idea because you take it as suffering. You feel it, you experience it as suffering. Some people can experience the pain as motivation and not suffering. Right? Yeah. The same pain can be motivation. Mm -hmm. So if you keep feeling the same situation again and again and again, it indicates what two things. One, you are every time you are facing it, you are complaining or blaming somebody else for your that situation. Second, you are still not taking your learning out of it. And you are not seeing your opportunities out of it. And it will keep coming back because life wants to want you to learn that. Mm -hmm. Right. So but the moment you put blame to other, you are trying to save yourself. Mm -hmm. You are not taking the responsibility. You are not owning it. Right. And the moment you are blaming or you are trying to save yourself, you are feeling that you are saving yourself, but you are not. Again, the impact of matrix. Yeah. That it appears that you this time you have somehow saved yourself from taking the responsibility, but no, it will come again. And till the time you will take your learning, it will keep coming again and again and again. But all that is also in the matrix. Beyond that, what is the final learning you need to take, which can give you a simple, beautiful flow and a ease of living in this world. It's something we need to understand that you are not this. Yeah. You are not what is affected. You are not this anger. You are not this stress. You are not this situation. You are not this trouble. You are not what you perceive. You are always absolutely free from all this. You are free from the impact. You are. You cannot be bound by these impacts. You are beyond this. And you realize this. And seekers only realize this. So you got to be a seeker for that. You have to question everything. Mm -hmm. You have to f you have to be on the path of seeking. And and universe bring you the best resources. They bring you the best guide, best guru, best situations, best people around you. It happens. Yeah. Your seeking energy calls that. Yeah. Right. Case in point. <laughs> so your seeking energy calls that. This is amazing. This is how the life works. Yeah. So yeah. And so this is how it works. So then how does somebody start to learn the lessons? So this, the, the le you keep, life will keep giving you lessons and if you don't learn them, you will get trapped in them and this is known as karma, right? And, and, the, and the karmic cycle. So in order to break free from that and, break, and ultimately break free from the matrix, realizing that you are not the situation, but then how does somebody l start to learn the lessons? start to see that opportunity and step out of it yeah so uh, first lesson is to be learned is that basically when you are not this you are not also the doer so let your ego go away let you it go cannot do anything right so the doer inside you which is which builds your ego tells you hey that's you who are doing it it's your achievement and then it is so cunning that it wants to claim mm -hmm. the achievement when it does something good and it does not want to claim any or, or responsibility when it does something bad right <laughs> that's the cunning mind and while trying to do that, you create matrix for yourself because you cannot save yourself from responsibility. And when you love achievements, you also have to handle, learn to handle the responsibilities. And that is what is the biggest learning that yeah. you are the one through that something is happening. Mm -hmm. Either take full responsibility of whatever you are doing, be the whole doer, or just don't be any doer. Yeah. Just be a pure channel. The limit, the channel. What happens that the mind wants to take responsibility as achievement, mm -hmm. but don't want to take responsibility just to save themselves from learning or for the bad things. Yeah. And when your mind does that, and it is actually trained to do that, because that is the way, to perfectly create a matrix around you. <laughs> and people in the matrix want you to be in the matrix, so they train your mind to do that since your childhood. Yeah. That's the harsh reality. But you are trained to create a matrix. Now you need to untrain yourself from doing that and train yourself to not to create a matrix and to remain free from the matrix, still functioning in the matrix, remaining free. Mm -hmm. And you can do that 
there is a way to do that remember the fourth uh, truth the buddha said there is a situation to live beyond the reason yes yeah <laughs> so um <laughs> I just love this conversation so much, but how, um, if somebody then has started to wake up and realize that they are not this person, but the situations in their life, they keep, they become louder and louder and louder. What is the, what is the trick? Because if, you know, the universe will slap you, you will be given this lesson to learn. And sometimes they become louder. Yes. But go to, go to that situation, remaining free from that situation. Mm -hmm. That's the, the art. Yeah, that's the art. That's the observer. Be like a spring. Mm -hmm. The more you press me, the more high I will jump. That's okay. That's great. But you need to register your authenticity in the universe. So when universe is giving you a louder situation, you go more strong without any fear because the moment you realize that that's not you you are free from this what can harm you nothing mm -hmm. all right so be stronger and bigger than the situation and then go to the situation mm -hmm. there is a saying that winner wins before the game start it's about your attitude yeah it's yeah. about your inner freedom mm -hmm. what you realize inside so be free from the situation, from the impact of mm -hmm. that situation and then go into it, do your best to do whatever needed to be done. You know, the rightest act of the moment and that is be that becomes your dharma. Yeah. So dharma is the rightest act of the moment. Do that, do your dharma, mm -hmm. but not from the space of doer, from the space of being a free consciousness, mm -hmm. which is just a channel of this thing to happen and doing the dharma and then you are free from that impact and you are taking your learning and once you have done it this way that situation does not arrive again mm -hmm. because now life knows that ah you have already got it so you don't need to give the same exam again yeah you don't need to relive this relive you don't this. need to relive you don't need to relearn you've got it well you've got done. it well and, done. and we do that by being free of the ego and the doer within your mind and acting as the pure consciousness that you really are and you will realize that by asking the questions of well who am i who is thinking this who is here in this body you know what am i experiencing and this is known as self-inquiry right right that's the that's the technique given by ramana mm -hmm. but uh, the self-inquiry is very important for a seeker yeah that the moment you're feeling something like ah who's feeling it and why Mm -hmm. What is behind it? From where it is originating? And what what impact it is giving me? And who is there inside me? Who is taking that impact? So if you have fear, you can feel fearful. If you don't have fear, you cannot feel fearful. If you are insecure, you will feel more insecurity. Yeah? Because you will find thousands of the reasons to feel insecure. If you want to feel victim, you will keep looking for reasons how to feel victim within me. And that's how it works and it traps you more and more and more every time. But the moment you decide, ah, I'm not victim, I don't want to be one, oh, I'm free, I don't want to be insecure, I don't, f I, I will not feel insecure no matter what, I'll have trust in divine or whatever the way life goes and I'm not going to do that, I'm not going to feel fear and nothing can give you the reason for feeling insecure or for feeling fear or feeling victim. Because you have finished that possibility from within you, you have become free from it. And then nobody from outside can give you that. Yeah. Lao Tzu used to say that nobody can disrespect me because I don't, I don't look for my respect in others' eyes. So if he does not look for his respect in others' eyes, how can the other disrespect him? Because he has already finished that opportunity or, or possibility. Yeah. So that's freedom. That's freedom. That's freedom. So if somebody is listening to this, and maybe they're not quite sure, but they're having those existential questions <laughs> and they're seeing life kind of, I guess the layers are peeling back of life and the layers of the matrix are peeling back and they might not really totally understand it. What's the first step that they can take to start to slowly break free from the matrix? Yeah, so basically developing your seeker that means that start questioning things and re kind of reconciling your life that what 
your belief systems what has been working for you and what has just been an excess baggage for you mm -hmm. that's a very first step to fix it because your beliefs actually create create part of your matrix mm -hmm. so just check your beliefs what is really working for you and what is not just don't keep believing something without realizing it so start to convert your beliefs into realizations and then you know whether they are really true or not Okay, and no matter those beliefs come from where, seriously, you got to learn to question everything. Everything. Right? Yourself, your parents, your religion, your family, your culture, your conditioning, your country, everything. Question this. Questioning. And I'm not saying deny. Don't deny them. Question them. Try to realize them. Try to know the truth of them. Don't deny them. Because denial is another belief. Mm -hmm. That, okay, I just want to deny everything. That's another belief. No, you don't really know whether you need to deny it or accept it. But when you start to realize everything, it creates the rebellious soul inside you. And only a rebellious soul can be free of matrix. Yeah. So let's develop that first. Yeah, I love this. Yeah. I've always been a rebel. <laughs> but maybe but, not in a good way. <laughs> yeah, amazing. Um, important thing to understand that rebellious does not mean against mm -hmm. or not denying. Rebellious means I will not just believe and base my life on believing. I will find my beliefs and I will work on them to realize them and make them my realizations. Mm -hmm. So make your beliefs your realizations and then life is amazing. Yeah, definitely. Right? Definitely. Okay then, so one one final question yeah. is we've started to wake up, right? We've, we've started to wake up. Here we are. We understand what the matrix is. We're starting to question our belief systems. We're starting to turn them into realizations and we're becoming free. We understand that we are the pure awareness that we are pure being but how do we when another challenge arises because we'll always experience challenges how do we remain free of the matrix yeah so basically when this question comes that how to remain free from the matrix that means you actually never became free from the matrix because it was just another idea or yeah. thought or another idea of the ego that ah, because ego wants to announce things you know ego is always in hurry so ego wants to announce hey i am free now yeah all right and then if it needs to struggle in how to remain free that means it is not free because once free always free so it needs a preparation it needs a crown to hold it mm. to hold that space of freedom right uh, because you can just say all right all right i just become free from the uh, from the fear of a dog yeah but you can still but i still have a fear of a monkey yeah you know okay. uh well that doesn't work because the moment you are free from fear you are free from fear yes. you are free from the existence of fear you are free from fear of fear you are free from all the matrix of feeling of fear can create. Yeah. And you are not free from a fear of dog or monkey or lizard or rat or cockroach or anything. No, they are just objects. But the subject is fear. Yes. Right. So you don't ask when you really become free of fear that, oh, now how can I become free of fear of monkey? <laughs> no. You ask this only when you just become free of fear of dogs, but still not others. So when you start seeing life as an object, relate with the object, relate with the impact of those objects, then you are actually not understanding that what is coming to you because you are looking only outside that I fix that I fix that I fix that and that's exactly what creates matrix but when you look at inside that inside I fix this then everything else is already fixed from outside this is the projector that is the movie different different movies right fix the projector here right and that is the rebellious soul is all about so it needs preparation and that preparation is not necessarily has to be long you can just take a jump. You can just get prepared right now. Take a jump, he said. <laughs> yeah. Or you can just fly. Open your wings. Sky is already there. Do that. Or you can go step by step. Or you can run. Or you can sometimes get a car. If you get a good guru, that's like a Ferrari. <laughs> <laughs> Takes you to one space to another. Whatever. Mm -hmm. But you need that preparation to hold the space. Yeah. So it's not an achievement it's a process mm -hmm. 
and then once you reach to that space you remain in that space so what you need to do is it's not to try to achieve something bigger but try to fix the possibility of falling back that would be your real growth that okay how below can i fall back i keep raising my that standard and not how high i can go that's okay but how low can you get if you're raising that standard that is where you are really preparing yourself wow. right that is your real growth craft yeah so how low can you get and remain free? yeah raise yeah raise the standard high yeah. of your lows yes yes <laughs> yes yes and we all know we have lows in yeah. life but ego wants to play the game ego ego wants to catch the high then wants to announce and that creates matrix mm-hmm. <laughs> and that creates matrix and i yeah. think one of the you know biggest learnings i've had over the last few weeks and the training total training that i've done with you is that um the life i was living before was very much ego even though i didn't realize it was it was you know i thought i was on a spiritual path and i thought that i was helping people but my ego was still controlling it um and so i was still living in the matrix and still you know i am still experiencing um challenges from the matrix which i am stepping away from and the, and you can feel the ego getting scared and the yeah. ego gets scared and the ego tries to to attach on but what i have realized is that actually my freedom from this and freedom from suffering and freedom from the ego and the mind and and the control that the matrix can have over a human is if, if that freedom is the most important thing to me and i think and and that you know you then become a lifelong seeker yes yes so when you keep aligned uh, yourself aligned with the sense of freedom mm. it will keep telling you that where are you going to lose it in a simple way that ah you want to do the best for people but you come under the performance pressure nah that's not freedom something is coming back mm-hmm. something is there is no need for performance pressure for a channel yeah. with the when it works from a pure, pure intention when it is free from the outcome because it is depending more in the purity of the sharing mm-hmm. right so that space keeps you free all the time so yeah amazing <laughs> amazing okay so if we have people listening to this who want to know more about what you teach and about how they can break free from the matrix after listening to this crazy conversation <laughs> what can they do what would their next steps be to connect with you and for me of course uh, you're most welcome to uh, join my conscious community it's a beautiful global conscious community and i want to uh, just uh, at least touch as many lives as possible with this idea of pure consciousness <laughs> i don't know how how far it will go with each individual but that's their freedom yeah. that's their choice and i respect that but at least uh, let me give them some idea of yeah. pure consciousness somewhere yeah so you most welcome to join that community you can connect with me on my website soulversity.com and .org and then uh, find me my on my youtube and instagram soulversity it's called soulversity like soul university very clever <laughs> soulversity <laughs> and uh, then uh, whenever you get time join some training programs in person or online from your home but just start your journey don't wait it don't waste it any more oh. and uh, Uh, and uh, it's not only about me if you find somebody who can help you more available to you please go for that but i would still like to say that find a guide or guru or a helper or a co-traveler who is available to you whom you can access directly right whom you can just ask direct questions and he can answer you directly no point having uh somebody whom you can consider guru but he cannot access you or give you time directly whenever you need because your purpose is you your purpose is not somebody else so find a person whom whom you can access directly and that is where it can really help you mm-hmm. right that's yeah. very important 
very, very important. Very important. Very important. Yeah. Amazing. Well, thank you so much. And if you missed any of the last two episodes with Deb, please go and watch them. You find them on YouTube, Spotify, iTunes, wherever you listen to your podcasts and content. Um, and please connect with Deb on Instagram. All the links will be below. Um, and yeah, thank you very much for tuning in to this week's episode of The Mandala Effect. Thank you, and I wish you a life of freedom. Love you all. Yeah. <laughs> mm.